Dude, Tim Squad back again with another video here today, man. It's King of Packs episode 37. And man, with the odds boost, I will say, I feel like this week of King of the Packs, we had some of the most impressing submissions. Now, I would say they weren't the most valuable, like LTDs, crazy stuff like that. But I feel like every pack kind of surprised me on the submissions this week. And we had a lot, bro. A lot of newcomers. A lot of submissions, so it was just a hype week. And if you guys don't know what King of the Packs is, is where I rank every coin and training pack in Madden 24. Kind of give you guys a better idea of what you should pull and pass up on. And every time I put a pack onto the tier list, I'm going to show some of you guys this big banger post that you guys submitted to me on Twitter. Post looks like this. Opens on Friday. It's been closing on Tuesday just with golden tickets releasing on Tuesday. So videos obviously posted on Wednesday. So that's when it's opening and closed. Um, so make sure you guys are getting your submissions there. Like I said, man, it, it was a I was surprised looking at these submissions. I really, really was for certain packs. So before we get into all the submissions, the tier list ranking, the top ten, you guys know I have to say. Say it every video. Make sure you guys hit the like button right now. Hit the sub button if you haven't also put on post notifications. Join the OE gang. Let up the comment section. Let me know down below what is your king pack that's your go-to pack, your favorite pack to pull. So where do we begin? Um I don't know where to begin, bro. I really don't, actually. This is the, the first time I've never... All right, we're going to do gold player first. I might open this up this week if I have a day for it because I have that, you guys know, on all my accounts. Um, I've been seeing people still get pretty good pulls from this. I think someone submitted an 86 plat, but they already had double submissions, so I couldn't do that. Gold pluses have just been really bad. They just haven't been good for me. They've been good for some of y'all. I'm going to say that much, but not for me. Um, real deal. Probably one of the worst packs in the game. It's just not good. It's usually, majority of the time, double 89. So I'll leave that one right there. Um, what else could we throw up here? Sugar Rush. Better than real deals. Uh, I'm going to put it right there. Better. Eh, I'll put it above gold plus, too. I'd rather rip this pack than the gold plus at the moment. Star Elites. I opened a few of these but i didn't open many i just opened because there was an odds boost but i just did not open many i want to put these in the garbage as well um most coin packs kind of are in the garbage aka cruise not a big fan of this pack as well i'm just kind of ragging on everything i'll put that right there and yeah let's get into submissions for all these because we got a lot of submissions for these packs and then we'll get on to the next ones Real deal, Tommy Solo's had a double. Now, you guys know this doesn't happen often. I feel like the last person to get a double submission on the same pack actually was Tommy. But since the other people that submitted already had doubles, he was the only one with submissions. So I gave him the double submission. He had a 98 Mean Joe in one pack, and he had a 98 Navi Asuma in one pack. So GG's Tommy Solo's one. You are king of the real deals pack for the week and episode. Next pack. Bold plus, 98 overall. Sugar Rush Matthew Stafford and a 97 Frank Ragna. Like, this is one of the submissions that kind of surprised me because gold plus is like we generally don't see much good stuff. But there was a lot of gold plus submissions this week. Like, I think there was like four or five, and they were all like 95 pluses. So I was surprised to see that. You love to see the big banger pulls popping out, man. The biggest T734 and Gavin Pearson one. You guys are king of the gold plus for the week and episode. Next pack. Star Elite, Aaron ST7158519, 98 overall, Mike Evans and Big Boy. I don't know why I just started reading all these numbers off like I don't have to do it again. Big Boy, 99 Eric Dickerson right there, both with some big banger pulls. I didn't dabble too much with the Star Elites this week just because I was busy with some other packs, but I mean, these are really good pulls. I mean, if they're popping stuff out like this, we might have to try them out. So Aaron ST7158519 and Big Boy33478253131. You guys are king of the Star Elites for the week and episode. Next pack. All right, those were all the submissions for those packs. Infinite Flux. Now, this pack being added to the mystery was really, really nice. I like that this pack gives you a guaranteed 93. You know, with the mystery pack being 78K training, you're guaranteed at what is a 93, 42, or 44. You're guaranteed almost, more than half your training back, which is nice. So I like this pack. I haven't gotten anything too crazy from it yet, like a 99 or an, even a 97. So I'm going to put it here. Hopefully we get more of these to test out this week. I just didn't open. I opened my mystery packs the Wednesday night before the odds boost. So I didn't get to open a bunch of these. But 
this weekend when I open more mysteries, we'll hopefully be able to open more of these. Um, so hopefully we can test that out a bit more. This 97 plus theme team also. Now, you guys saw my video. I actually pulled the 99 um, was Harold Carmichael. I literally got, it was a big banger pull. But if I didn't get that, I would have probably lost a good bit. I don't know. I don't think this is a terrible pack. But I'm going to pull it this week again. Just for anybody that was wondering. But I'll put this. I'm going to put this here. I want to put it here for now. See how it does. It might go down. It might go up. We'll see. Theme Team All-Star Coin Pack. I actually put this in the decent because I thought this was generally a pretty good pack. 94s were selling for like 60k if you let them slow sell. And this pack was, what was it, 68 or 72k? I forget how much it was, but it just wasn't a terrible pack. Like, it was good. It did pretty decent this week. And I'm going to mess around with this again on Thursday. So I'm going to put that right there. I felt like this was a good pack to be opening up. Draft pack. I like this pack. I'm putting this in decent as well. I like the fact we get 30-something thousand training from it. Um, I've gotten really good pulls from it. I think I got my 99 um, draft card from this this past week. I mean, dude, it's just I like this pack. When I get this pack, I'm not mad that I got it. So that deserves decent for me. Playmakers. These felt really good this week. I'm going to put these above the Flux. Um, pro Playmakers, I'm going to put these... I'm going to put them here. I felt like Playmakers are actually really, really good this week. So everything's in the garbage, as you guys can see. At least it's not down here. Um, might as well rank everything else. Ultimate Legend Packs. Again, this I put up kind of with the Theme Team All-Star. Maybe even right here. These two coin packs were good coin packs to open. Like, I actually did good. If you guys didn't see my Ultimate Legend pack opening, go peep it, because it was crazy. So I'm going to put those both right there. Ring of Honor, I'm just not really excited. I'm going to put this one here. I'm just not excited for that pack anymore. I always know it's double 91s, which is good, but it's just not exciting. Like, draft pack, I'm more excited for this than the Ring of Honor. And that's, like, sad, but it just it's just the truth. And this pack, this pack had the craziest submissions of the week, bro. When I tell you, I think we had six submissions and every submission had a 99 in it. Like, it was crazy. And I, this is one of the most surprising submissions of the week. I'm going to put this here. I don't think I did great with it. Actually, I'm going to put this like down here. I didn't do great with it, but you guys did. And you guys are about to see. Pro Maxes. I'll put those there. You guys know I like that pack. Mystery is still going to stay in the king. And, you know, that's just how it's going to be, bro. I will say, though, if they don't change the price um, lock and mystery packs kind of stay at the price they're at right now, that might have to go down. But we will see a lot of garbage packs, a lot of packs that haven't really made their way up to a, you know the point where I would say open them. Like, they're good. But the four packs in the decent right now are my favorite packs in the game. Mystery, obviously, is the only pack that I'm really ripping outside the Theme Team All-Star and the Ultimate Legend coin packs. So, yeah, let's get into a lot of submissions here. Hopefully, I get them all. Let's check it out. Pro Max. 98 overall, if you can't see Chris Harris Jr. on the far left with a 91 as well and a 92 on the side. Big Boy also got a 99 and Joe Alt right there. You love to see it, man. So, Big Banger pulls there. Aaron ST715. A5, 1, 9, and Big Boy, 3, 3, 4, 7, 8, 2, 5, 3, 1. I think you guys literally shared a submission earlier, too. I don't know. It's like I'm literally dialing a phone number with y'all names. But you guys are king of the Pro Max for the weekend episode. Next pack. Ring of Honor. Max Arkins and Delpin. Max Arkins had a double 98 submission, and Delpin obviously had a 98. That's the only thing about Ring of Honor. I haven't pulled a 99 Ring of Honor in ages, bro. I, like, have not pulled it since that Michael Vick from the Gold Player Pack. I think I literally used every Ring of Honor luck that I ever had in that pack opening. So I probably won't ever get one again. But 98s are the next best thing. So W pulls, Max Arkins, and Delpin84. You guys are king of the Ring of Honor pack for the week and episode. Next pack. Ultimate Legend coin packs. Y'all snapped, man. 99 Ronnie Lott LTD. I know he's going for, like, 2-3 mil. And then John Runyon, 99, he was going for close to a mil off the drop. And then maybe he's like 800 now. I'm not exactly sure where he stays, but he stays in good company. Big Blue Gang and um, I don't even know how we do this. Nebuliste, 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 
Nebuli Staken. You guys are king of the Ultimate Magic Coin Pack for the weekend episode. Next pack. Theme Team All Stars, Bolt God 6, 99, Harold Carmichael. W, bro. I'm telling you, like, these packs actually were not bad. And it was a good kind of pack you could just kind of keep on opening. It was minimal L's. And you could have stuff like this, man. So, GG's, Bolt God 6, and Delpin 84. You guys are king of the Theme Team All Star Coin Packs for the week and episode. Next pack. Playmakers, bro. Golden Ticket Tapes and Hill from a Playmaker Pack. 99 overall um, Infinite Flux Master from a Playmaker Pack. It's just craziness, man. It's just you love to see it. This is boosted odds right here, man. Mr. Zygmunt and Max Arkins. You guys are king of the Playmaker Packs full of the week and episode. <laughs> GG on the 99s. And look at these, bro. I don't even really know what to say about these. Except this is crazy, bro. Joey got a 90, 94, a 98 Cooper Cup, and a 99 overall Master as well. Mikey got a 99 and a 98 in the same pack. And when I tell you, there was literally like three or four other submissions with 99s from these packs. You just can't make this stuff up, bro. I mean, this is the crate. I'm telling you, this week of King of the Packs, like, I wasn't, I know it was boosted odds, but I was not expecting stuff like this. Joey Gar 33150821 and Mikey 1274XXX. You guys are king of the weekly wildcard pack for the week and episode. I think that might be all the packs, but let me just double check. How could I forget the draft packs, man? Tristan Morgan 499 overall. Brady NW 9893. Again, I really like this pack. I know you could get double 91s from it, but most of the time I'm not getting that. I'm getting decent stuff, and these guys did too. Tristan Morgan, 4, and Brady NW, 1928. You guys are king of the NFL draft pack for the week and episode. On to the scoreboard. Scoreboard, we got tie for first, Delpin right behind, and three people with nuts. Dude, this is close, bro. Holy crap. And even the guys that are 7, 8, 9, 10, they're, like, they're not too far behind. Like, if anybody slips up in those top six, these guys are right behind them. So, W's right there. Let's check out the yearly. Submissions right here. Delpin, 84. 50. Max Arkins, 49 right behind. Scraps, 47 right behind. Aaron's about to be at 40. Hawks Nation's about to be at 40. This is close, bro. And kind of what I've decided is for the winner of the yearly... I'm going to probably just, like I normally give a gift card, I'm probably just going to give you your, like a $100 gift card for the Madden Superstar Master Edition. Um, and you could do what you want with it, just because I know there's the NCAA bundle as well. I'm not going to give away that for King of the Packs, but I will give away you know the $100 Big Banger Edition of Madden. So whoever wins, you can choose if you want to use that 100 toward that big bundle, or if you want to just get the Madden, it's really up to you. It's kind of what we'll do from um, from that point. And remember, this is going to end. This might end at the beginning of July. Depending on what's going on with NCAA, this might end. So we might only have like a month and a week or two left to King of the Pack. So keep them things rolling. Let's head back to the tier list. Yeah, man. A lot of packs that are bad. It's most of the mystery packs, too, are bad. It's just kind of like... It, we're just in a tough spot and it's like if the tvp was here things would change it really would just because things would go up in price and i wish they just dropped it i mean it's may bro it's about to be june like if they they just need to drop it bro i mean that literally could push us through the rest of madden like a month month and a half of tvps with rookie premieres all of that like dude it would literally push us through the rest of madden if they did it so I don't know why they're tweaking. I don't know why they're wasting time and not doing it. But hopefully they do. It'll make packs and value and everything go up. So I don't know, man. That's going to be all for King of the Packs. So, so make sure you guys hit the like, hit the sub, put on post notice, drop down below what's your King Pack. I'll see y'all in the next video or stream, man. It has been real. Peace.